One of the main types of insulators that you will see inside an air insulated substation are post insulators. Post insulators are used to carry the conductors and buzz bars as they pass from one piece of equipment to the next. Here's a typical post insulator. It normally consists of three parts. Firstly, we have the palm, which is at the top of the post insulator. This holds the conductor in place and can be specified in many configurations, depending on the type of clamps or conductors being used. Here we have a flat palm, which allows clamps to be bolted on both sides. We then have a spigot type palm, which allows the clamp holding the conductor to be fixed at one point. The next item is the insulator. As we've discussed, the higher the creepage distance, the longer the insulator will be. And finally we have the base of the insulator, which allows the post insulator to be fixed to the structure below. Next we have the structure. To carry the post insulator and raise it to the required height off the ground. This height is defined by the electrical clearances, which we'll look at in the later section. The structure is usually a galvanised steel lattice structure or a tubular aluminium pole. Sitting below the structure, we have the pad type foundation, which is sized to carry the weight of the structure, the insulator, and the bus bar. The foundation also needs to handle the mechanical forces exerted on the bus bar. As we've seen in the previous section, these can be significant. The horizontal spacing between the post insulators depends on the type of conductor being used. Solid and rigid bus bars don't sag in the way flexible conductors do, and the spacing in between the post insulators can therefore be increased. The face to face spacing between the post insulators depends on the electrical clearances between the bus bars. As the system voltage increases, the electrical clearances increase, and so does the distance between the post insulators. Most post insulators are made of epoxy resin or ceramic materials, which provide the insulation level required and the physical strength to carry the conductors during normal and short circuit conditions. Line insulators can be made of glass, ceramic or polymer material, and they are designed to carry the tensional forces exerted by the line conductor. As the system voltage level increases, you will see that the length of the insulators also increases due to the creepage distance. 